Hello, I am at the Red Twig Farms Peony Festival. I don't even know, I'm on Anthony's phone. I don't know where I'm supposed to look. I think you're right here. Okay, so we're gonna go in and maybe get some flowers. Anthony is with me awkwardly in the background per usual. <laughs> and hopefully I'll come back with some, I don't know how expensive they'll be, maybe some peonies. Let's go. How could you say this every time? This is the new world you told me lightly Oh, and how could it end? Let it fall in my lifetime I don't really like that I don't really like that to turn the vlog off last night and say goodbye we ended up just going over to my sister and my brother-in-law's house and just hanging out there and seeing the new house I've already seen him but Anthony hadn't and then we went and met his friend at a game bar and played games and drank for the rest of the night so you didn't miss a whole ton um, but I did want to show you before I leave what I ended up getting from the Easton Mall which wasn't much because I didn't go there to go shopping. But, you know, while I was there, um, I got a swimsuit from Macy's. So I'm going to turn this around and show you guys. The swimsuit actually was $12. So I, I need a new swimsuit. I didn't try it on. I will say I just tried it on and it is way too, like, revealing. And, like, the thigh area comes up really high. I have, like, a weirdly long, like, my upper torso isn't long, but my bottom torso part is long. And a lot of rompers and swimsuits don't fit me, even though I'm pretty short, 5'4 wise. So I will probably end up returning it. I don't know. We'll see. I just need a new swimsuit to do my like water aerobics and like swimming laps in the pool. And I don't like wearing two pieces to do that. And the current one piece that I have, my hair gets like stuck in the straps real bad and just pulls my hair out. So. I'm on the hunt. So here's the one piece. It's just a um, tie up and then it, it's pretty soft. The only problem with this is, okay, you can tell like it does, I guess I didn't see that in the store how high cut that was. Um, it's not stretchy and that's the problem because of my torso, like I need some stretch to make it so that this isn't, like I can't raise my arms in this very well. Like it will just keep hiking up further and further. The back's really flattering. It's just like a scoop neck back. 
I understand why this was $12 at Macy's. It is not like, the quality sucks. Well, let's be honest, the design is cute. But I like the scoop back, like it's flattering. It's just not like practical for what I wanna use it for, which is like doing water aerobics in the pool. Um, but I'm so excited. So from Abercrombie, I have been hunting this purse down. I had this in my shopping cart for months since March and I kept waiting for it to go on sale. And finally, they just took it off the site. They didn't even put it on sale. They took it off the site. This is not even, you can't find it online anymore. It's just a wooden like bamboo. And then it has um, an inside and it has a drawstring so you can like tuck your things away, which this is very like convenient. So I finally went to the East Mall, which is like their test store. It's the closest one to their headquarters. And they had one left and it was half off. So. I bought it and I'm so so freaking excited my sister I showed him like both things to her yesterday she didn't like either one but I think this is really cute and I think it's gonna be really perfect for like summertime outfits like what I'm wearing right now would be really cute with this so I am going to keep it love that okay I'm gonna go. We're going over to Anthony's parents' house for Memorial Day doing like a barbecue. It's supposed to rain, but I want to stop by an antique store slash plant shop before we go there. I like looking around. I usually don't buy anything, but I am on the hunt for some air plants, and they're pretty cheap, so if they have some, I'll probably get some. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I love you so much. Have a happy Memorial Day if you are celebrating it, and otherwise, I will see you very soon. Welcome back. A lot has uh, happened since the last time I updated you guys, which was Memorial Day. So uh, that night, which I didn't vlog because I was in my PJs and in a ton of acne stuff on my face. Speaking of acne, that guy will not go away. Um, we had a tornado. So that's new for Ohio. Not like super new, but the amount of tornadoes and the amount that it damaged was definitely not anything I've ever experienced before. I've been through two, I guess this is my second tornado where I was like legitimately scared because like it was on the news, the people, the anchors, it was live streaming all night long and they were just like, this is a huge tornado. So um, we luckily, you can tell I'm in my apartment, didn't get hit. Um, two miles from us got hit pretty bad. Within a 10 mile radius of us in all directions, they're just like homes destroyed everywhere and so freaking grateful that it did not hit us because I'm in an apartment on my second floor and we didn't know what to do because outside like I know under the stairwells is a safe place but like our stairs are um like see-through so debris could have like gotten on us and it's also in a breezeway so it's open on all areas other than like just the walls so we just went in the bathroom and because there's wet walls there again didn't get her um actually one of our friends apartment complexes got completely like wiped off the roof and like destroyed everything in it luckily he moved out four months ago so he was not in there um but a lot of people are without homes right now and it's just i don't know something i've never experienced we're actually donating blood here in um 20 minutes i'm gonna make this really quick um yeah so i think today our plan is to either go to the strawberry festival which is in Troy, which is like a huge Ohio thing. Um, Anthony's sweeping, we've been cleaning all morning. And then maybe go to Beaver Creek, which also got hit really bad, especially North Fairfield, which is where we wanna go. Um, I don't wanna go like, I mean, obviously I'll go look at the damage, but what I really wanna do is um, donate and sell some of our stuff we don't want. I will be doing a closet declutter soon, don't you worry. Summer break, for me, the kids got out on Thursday. But um, I'll start like going on summer break after next week. And then I'll go into school like every Wednesday. I think it's my plan just to, um, I have extended days as a counselor. You get, ex well, some counselors get extended days because there is stuff through the summer you have to get done, like sending out transcripts and like taking new students in and like um, giving other school students that are withdrawing all of their records. So there's a process and I also have to do credit checks on everyone to make sure they're in the right classes because scheduling is a disaster. You guys should all be thankful for your counselors that did that for you. Okay, we're gonna go donate. What are you in in the screen? You can't, well you can see his head a little bit. We're gonna donate 
blood. Um, oh, before we do that, let me show you real fast because Anthony has been bugging me to get rid of this pillow. I have finally found a pillow because I've been on the hunt for four years. This is how nasty, I don't know if you can tell, like I'm aware of how gross it is. Do you see like all of this drool spots? I've had this since I was 10. I'm 29 now, guys. This is so gross, but it is my favorite pillow. Like I can't sleep on anything other, and I've felt every single pillow I feel like in this universe, and none of them feel like this until we were at a furniture store because my mom needed a new table. <sighs> the most expensive pillow line in the world. We found it, and I found my pillow, and apparently it is made of latex. Who would have thunk? So this is the pillow that I actually um, got Anthony and I both won. This is the Zone Gel Talalay Latex. It was so expensive, but it's the same pillow. Oh, I'm in love. I've been sleeping well. I've been having a lot of nightmares. We'll blame it on the pillow. Um, $150. So yeah, we did get a discount because we were like, one, they stayed after hours for us, um, partially because we had a table. Well, we didn't. And two, because we bought two of them, and it was gonna be $300, and they were like, we'll give it to you for $250 out the door, and we're like, sold. Which was a really good deal, because when you find them online, they're still $150. Okay, gotta go. See you soon, bye. A lot of the roofs got um, taken up off of these places, and then the windows broke through. And it blew out. And they're all brand new. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. It was due to storm. Yep. Did um, Pramani Brothers got messed up too? Pramanti, whatever. Trina. The pets. So this is where a bunch of dogs were and some good Samaritans came before the storm and got all the animals out, which was really nice. Mm. Is Orange Theory over there? No, Salon lost. Aldi is the one that got the most destroyed in like the business area. Oh yeah. It's probably glass everywhere over there. Poor Aldi's brand new, just opened. The whole inside is destroyed. There's a lot of work being done. Mainly a lot of garage doors, roofs, and trees are what I'm seeing over here. There's trees literally everywhere, just uprooted. Oh, that man. house is messed up real bad. Uh, the fire station. Imagine thinking that was a safe place to go. Oh no. Some real old historic houses are met. Oh, it's gone. Uh, you guys, remember my striped room? This was the house where I had that big unit. But they look fine. Oh wow. Oh, my eye doctor's destroyed. <laughs> I really needed an appointment. Well, this, this is all ripped apart. We are now walking <laughs> Oliver to Jace. He's been naughty. We had the front open trying to jump out it's just him and no we are not favoritizing um it's that chester last time we put him in peed so we didn't want to give him that kind of anxiety anymore and also wanted to see if oliver enjoyed it before deciding just to get rid of it altogether. um we're going through our neighborhood it is all well we're in an apartment complex but there's a ton of houses i know it's so windy it's really loud uh, but we're just on the empty lots right now which will probably soon by the end of summer be filled with houses. Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Anyways, we are going to continue the walk and I'll probably end the vlog here because I don't really have too much left. Um, we're going to go swimming probably after. I took my armband off. I think it's safe to go swimming. I was just thinking what if it got infected. Um, I took the band off way too early though. It started bleeding but it has stopped now. Um, okay, anyways, I love you. I will see you very soon in the vlog. Bye. Bye.